Okay, so I have decided I'm going to make some videos about mega squirting uh, this 97 Eclipse that I picked up real cheap. It basically had a lot of things wrong with it, uh, starting with a blown head gasket. Uh, it did run, but it would pressurize this tube here, which is bad. And so my buddies uh, helped me out with a head gasket change on it. Uh, it did come with the Han Turbo setup. Uh, came with some other stuff, which I have pulled out. Uh, you can see the ECU harness is a mess, and it was when I got it. Uh, all these cables are tied in. Should go to something. Used to go to an AFC Neo and a SFC or AVC HD, I don't know, boost controller. Um, essentially, those are being sold on eBay. Hopefully going to fund the Mega Squirt project for the most part, other than some little stuff. Um, the problem with this setup is that it runs a turbo, obviously here, on a non-turbo car. And so, uh, basically if the stock map sensor up here uh, gets into boost and it sees over... 4.3 volts or 4.7 volts, I forget which, um, then it goes into fuel cut mode and cuts the entire fuel to the motor, which is bad when you're in boost because you're going to go crazy lean and probably blow a head gasket, which is exactly what had happened when I got this car and why I got it so cheap. Uh, so in order to play games with that, they most people do a few things. <clears throat> One of them either a standalone or I'm sorry a mechanical uh, fuel cut defender that sits between the ma uh, manifold absolute pressure sensor here um, and it blocks boost essentially so it only it has a little check valve in there or something so those are about 50 bucks a uh, bunch of a couple of different retailers sell them uh, the other thing that I have seen is a is an electronic fuel cut defender uh, those are uh, basically an op amp of some sort um, set to limit the voltage that it sees and so you put that between um, the map sensor so it can output 5 volts if it wants to but it's going to limit what the ECU actually sees uh, and keep you out of fuel cut so those are the electronic fuel cut defenders I wanted to try it out when I was still trying to tune this thing with the stock ECU and I used a diode and a little potentiometer here and basically um, may used a Zener diode at 4.7 volts to to ground out the uh, signal through a load which I believe works um, but I got other issues so I'm gonna go ahead and give up now because it's a pain in the butt to try to program this, or I'm sorry, to tune this without being able to program it. Uh, I've driven a few times. I get into about uh, 20 to 1 ratios anywhere near boost uh, air fuel ratios, which is bad. Uh, so essentially, I'm going to mega squirt it, take all the uh, goofy stuff off. One other goofy thing that's done here is uh, the fuel line runs through the fuel rail. Uh, it's got pretty huge 550cc injectors on it um, and then it comes through here to this uh, 12 to 1 adjustable uh, FMU and so the FMU essentially restricts this line, so this blue line, the return line will be restricted um, and it will give you an extra 12 pounds of uh, fuel pressure 12 psi for every one pound of boost it sees at the maximum setting of 12 to 1 uh, I've read or heard that they can only go down to about 7 to 1 um, as a minimum so if I run it now I hit one pound of boost I get whatever my static fuel pressure is minus uh, or I'm sorry, uh, plus 7 PSI if it's a 7 to 1. If I go 2 uh, pounds of boost, then I get 14 PSI over static pressure. And it works, and it really throws the uh, the fuel pressure gauge, which is this transducer here, but uh, it really throws that fuel pressure up to nearing probably 100 PSI or something like that. So that's going to compensate for the ECU's lack of control of fuel while in boost. Um, 
supposedly. That's the, the idea, at least. Uh, with those big injectors, you got to play games with the map uh, sensor at idle. So it basically, the AFC Neo is a little electronic boxy thing that pops in here in the math signal, jumps in between it, and it, it tweaks it so that your car will idle. Um, I currently been able to get it to idle, or I can get it to drive, but I can't get it to do both really. So uh, that and the fact that this motor does have uh, forged pistons and some who knows what else, but um, I need spark control if I'm going to go over about uh, 5 or 7 PSI a boost uh, on this turbo or else I'll start detonating. So anyway, that's about it. That's why I'm going to mega squirt it, uh, hopefully here in the next little bit.